Good morning guys, today we're going to be talking about one of the kingfish species, uh, probably one of the most popular ones, the big eye kingfish. As the name implies, very easy to identify, looks similar to a GT, slightly less sloped of a face, um, but the main thing is the very very big eye, uh, carrying sex fasciatus. The, the very big eye alludes to the kind of hunting that it does, it really likes hunting in low light. So it's really very, a very active species nocturnally. They're able to use that big eye to, to focus any light that's available and they are very, very good hunters at night. In terms of what they're going to be eating, any of your small fish, they do like going in the estuaries as well. So estuaries and rocky and coral reefs offshore. They, any fish, any squid, any crustaceans, they, they're prolific hunters. In, in your estuaries, they're going to be Mud prawns, very, they love their swimming prawns uh, and all your, your estuarine uh, glasses and mullets and that kind. And then of course also your bay squid and any of your little squids that you get in the big harbors. They, they love, absolutely love squid. They go crazy for it. Your, so as we said the size very, or, or shape and, and whatnot, very similar to a GT, um, giant, giant trevelli. They flatten side, big disc like body kind of thing. Um, but not that, that steep head and um, yeah, the big eye as we said is a sort of a distinguishing feature and other than that they also have white tips on, on their soft dorsals and, and on the tip of their tail so it's a little white like a little like someone's taken ink and just pressed the top of the fin like that just so you get a nice white little tip to it so that's often the easiest way to identify it if you confuse with the smaller ones if they don't have the eye or not um, the big eye yet also, they, in the little juveniles, they do have bars on them. So the guys that you catch in the estuary are often the little babies, and they'll have distinct bars running down the fish like that. So in terms of size and maturity, they're going to mature at around about 50 centimeters, so a fairly large fish. They also get to about 85, 85 centimeters there about, and that's about an 8 kilo fish. So it's, a, it's really one of the slightly smaller kingies. Um, but they have been recorded to get up to uh, 11 years of age and 1.2 meters of length and that's about an 18 kilo fish so that's worldwide obviously not just South Africa um, which is a, a phenomenal a phenomenal big eye. Now as we said the juveniles are going to be common in the estuary so they really rely on a nice clean estuary system which is where pollution plays a role in degrading that environment and affecting the fish more than overfishing. Um, when it comes to fishing for them, you, they love lures. They are fanatical about lures. They, like most kingies, they got, they're very enigmatic. They've got a little, a little buzz to them. Um, the fly fishermen love them. That's in, any, any fly really for them in an estuary is deadly. Your sempers, your, any of the deceiver patterns, and they love a cockroach. Now, cockroach, for you guys that don't fly fish, is more of an imitative pattern but a suggestive pattern more than imitative if that makes sense they it's basically just to represent little swimming prawns that you that you strip and the hackle feathers kick at the back but I'll, i won't bore you with that um lure angling wise any of your little little lip lures um bait wise any of your little live baits that's for the estuary offshore and from the shore itself plugs work very well for them um and bait wise Chocker and live bait more so than any of your other baits really they they seem to like that a bit more than than the other baits your they, they are a very popular recreational game fish so most of the guys would have known them from any sort of light tackle fishing they've done you generally catch them all over the coast that and the black tip kingy was your they sort of group together sometimes in terms of where you're going to find them they're more of a north coast, northern KZN type of species, but we do get them all the way down into the trans Um Yeah, it's, a, it's as we said, it's a kingy. It's a very, very feisty species. They're very strong fighting, so the light attack where you can go for them, obviously within reason, is, is very good. I like fishing the lights as possible in the estuary. And then for your offshore use, it's going to be any of your sort of a jigging type rod is going to be hundreds for that for, for general purpose. So yeah, the big eye kingy, uh, carrying sex fasciatus, is sexy to say, sexy to look at, and very sexy to catch. Cheers.